before I guess. So we've all been told that a green banana also has its, um, its advantages. So we need to eat the green banana and we need to eat like a, a, a yellow banana. So which one do you really need to eat? What does the green banana actually does in our body? And how do you know if a food is meant to be eaten um, and not just based on science, but literally based on what your body is telling you? So here are the signs. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel to get more information. We've all been told that this banana, this green banana, is good for us. And like, never eat your banana when it's green. It's hard like a rock and you cannot peel it, so it's not meant for you to be. This one is also not ripe, so you can see it's not soft and doesn't have any black doesn't peel easily but this ones are actually very ripe you can see first of all it has the brown spots right it's soft like you can squeeze it with your hands and you can peel it really easily so you see it doesn't make any sound doesn't make any crack and this is not green the top is not green so this is how you know these bananas are going to be good. So just in order for me to show you that I'm right, <laughs> we're gonna buy these and we're going to taste test them. I just wanted to show you these bananas are so ripe that they actually peel themselves off. And that's a sign for ripe fruit. This is how you should be eating a fruit. Just like this. See all the brown spots? right so this is how you should not consume your bananas do you see how green that is and it's super super hard look you see it's still green in here very very green and i want to let you hear the sound when it cracks open so let's take one for oh my god Let's just take one. All right, so these are the bananas that I showed you yesterday. You can see they're still green. They still are green. And I want you to listen. My mom tried to open one, and she saw how hard it is. Like, you cannot really chew it. So I'm going to try and show you how it sounds like. And I just want you to see why you should not ever eat a banana like this. All right. So, I want to see, all right, we're taking one banana, and I want you to listen to this. If it makes a sound like this, your banana is so unripe, you should never ever eat it. Nature, nature has made it obviously clear that when something is ready, you don't, it doesn't have to make like a crack sound, it needs to be very, very soft. Because your body likes the softer things, right? So when it's ripe and you need to eat it, it's going to be soft. You're not going to need a knife to open it. It's not going to crack in your ears. It's going to be soft to the touch. It's going to be smelly. So this banana that I just popped open, you see this one? It just smells like grass. It's literally, it just smells like grass. So make sure your banana smells really good or like, like a really good banana. So you can really smell the sugar that is broken down, the fructose and the glucose. Very, very important for your digestive system. And for your body to feel happy and satisfied. Because remember guys, you are, we are eating for pleasure. So if your food in a true state does not cause you pleasure, it's not nice to eat, doesn't have any nice flavor, it means that it's not good for us and we should not eat it, we should not consume it and that's the number one rule so let's see how does a banana that does that is um ripe sounds like and looks like and tastes like because this bananas okay i'm gonna try the one that my mom opened like yesterday evening so let's give it a taste la, 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 la. <laughs> 
doesn't really have much of a flavor, just tastes like bitter and sour Ugh. and lemony. What the fuck? So, in conclusion, I'm going to show you a banana. So it's not our conclusion, but I am going to show you a banana that is ripe and is tasting good. And this is the only way you should eat it, guys, all right? So nature gave us very, very clear signs on what we should eat. First of all, it has to smell. So we have to use all of our five senses in order to realize and like know what is food for us and what is good for our body. So if I go in nature and I see a fruit, it's beautiful and it looks like food to me and I go and I grab it. Right, so I grab it with my hands. If it fits my if it fits my hand and I can grab it, then it is for me. Then if I can open it nicely with not much effort, then it's also food for me, right? So there's the sight, there is the touching, so smelling. If it smells really good, if it smells sweet and has like a strong smell to it, it is also ready. If it has also like um, a good sound so it doesn't crack open like then we also know that it's ready and if we touch it and it's soft so it means also open up the 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 peel so when we peel it it's nice and um, when we taste it and it gives our taste like pleasure like endless pleasure so there is also a video of Eli from Free Melon Society who's trying a ripe plantain, um, a very, very ripe plantain, and you're going to be shocked to see how ripe do you, does a banana need to be in order to be eaten. So I am going to put the video description here on the top of the screen. And now let's go to the ripe banana. So I also wanted to make it clear that we are also using our sight in order to know if the fruit is ripe by its brightness and color. So the more the more the color is the more strong the stronger the color of the fruit then it is an obvious sign that it's ready. If it's green and it's not meant to be green like let's say it's an avocado or a cucumber, then obviously, I don't know how much we're going to be attracted to a cucumber in nature, but um, anyhow, we do eat it. So if it's, if it's not meant to be green and it's green, like our body, our senses will naturally tell us that this fruit is not ready. Like if it's not durian, and durian also get like less green, it gets like more yellowish, brownish when it's, when it's really ripe. So that's that's like another thing I just wanted to add on in here so I won't forget. Very, very important. All right, so now I'm going to open these bananas. They're just so super soft. I arrived to a place where I can eat, so that's nice. Let's check it out. Flavor, texture, and how does it make you feel, right? So open them to see how easy it peels and you can see that also the starchy stripes are naturally peeled away from the banana right just look I don't know look at this how darker it is than all of the other parts of the banana and all right now we're going to give it a taste so this is like not the sweetest one but it is you can see definitely has some brown spots meaning that sugars have started breaking down inside the banana so it's going to be sweeter and it's not going to be bitter. So the more you wait for the banana to ripen, meaning the darker the peel of the banana will be and the easier it will be to peel, which is an obvious sign of you needing to eat it or not, 
then the sweeter it will be and the more joy you're going to get from it because you're going to get more glucose and fructose and less starch. And the easiest sugar to get into the cell is what your body likes the most. It's what's going to make you the most amount of pleasure. I'm going to make the nutrients way more available for you. So don't forget to ripen fruit yourself. Don't forget to fruit yourself with ripe fruits. Have a sweet, great evening, day, afternoon. Love you. See you on the next one.